Lego lovers, ladies and gentlemen, and friends from all over the world. We're so glad to have you here with us today. We are going to check out the Lego store. And my buddies recently took a trip through the Dave and Busters. Make sure you check that video out if you haven't. Today, we're going to go buy some stuff at the slightly revised Lego store. We've made some changes, and I think you're going to like it. We'll go ahead and pop both roofs off in case uh, you've never seen the Dave and Busters. That's what it looks like. Right next door, you've got the Lego store. This is a highly... Highly detailed set. On the front, you've got some stickers. And actually, we'll call those window decals, window signage. Similar to the Dave and Busters. You look inside there and you got a sports car. Over on this side, we've got a penguin and an airplane. When you walk in the doors, you come to some of the most awesome sets. I absolutely love those sets. And of course, at the Lego store, they are brand new in the box. You can't beat that. So we changed this display around just a little bit and kind of gave it a little bit more of a, I don't know, we'll call it a town and country type feel, I guess. So instead of just the uh, yellow shelf it used to be, and you go in, you got all kinds of little areas. You got the Star Wars section there with uh, the Millennium Falcon. You get the race car in red there to the right. And then you've got an orange car, which you can pop that out. We, uh, we left it like that on purpose. Uh, this one's just flying off the shelf, folks. I must need to uh, get that. So, did some uh, different things in regards to the, uh, the box placement in the back. Normally they're all facing slanting one particular direction. So, now we've decided to uh, do it like you see there. There's the other side of the kind of town and country-ish uh, display there, display rack. Added a uh, logo for the ground there. And you know what? Let's put Rocky right there. So as myself and all my buddies are walking around the Lego store, checking it out, figuring out what we're going to get, Rocky can ring us up when we're done. So got all kinds of stickers all over the place, slightly different than previous sets. Of course, the prick, big, uh, pick a brick. <laughs> the pick a brick wall hasn't changed a whole lot. Nice, new, fresh looking stickers on that. Still got the farmer up there. Still got the spaceman over there. Got R2D2 over there in the corner. Got a pretty cool checkout area with Minecraft and superheroes. Got Jurassic Park on the back, city. You got some creator sets and some other stuff there. So we'll take a little spin around here. So working with the 32 by 32, we are a little limited. So, you know, it's uh, amazing the differences, which obviously we get a lot more space than we do working with the smaller ones, but it's, uh, it's always a challenge. In fact, check out this preview of something we've got coming up that I know you're all excited about. And coming soon, right here to Brick Attic, don't forget, we are gonna have the completed Home Depot. Just gotta change a few things first. Add a little bit more to the light section. Add some more carts. Depot will be 
coming to Brick Attic very soon. That's gonna be a good one, folks. Home Depot has been a long time coming. It's taken a lot of work, but it's almost ready. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we appreciate so much you watching this video today. And if you like the video, please smash that like button down below. Please share the video. And if you're into behind the scenes vlogs and cool stuff like that, be sure to click right there. And if you like highly detailed Lego sets, like this one and this one, be sure to click over there. Thank you all so much for watching. I am Dave, your captain, and I will see you in the next Brick Addict video. Have a great day.